Hello everyone, welcome to another series of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, in the context of Indian biodiversity, what is the IUCN status of great one-horned rhino? Vulnerable, least concern, near threatened or endangered? The correct answer is option A, vulnerable. Recently, great one-horned rhino was in news. The greater one-horned rhino or Indian rhino is the largest of the rhino species. The preferred habitat of an Indian rhinoceros are primarily areas that contain grasslands and wetlands located in the foothills of the Himalayas and the Brahmaputra and Ganges Valley. At present, the species are restricted to small patches in the Indo-Nepal Terai, northern parts of West Bengal and Assam. Formerly, they were extensively distributed in the Brahmaputra and Gangetic Valley. The IUCN status of rhino has improved from endangered to vulnerable. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements regarding the Devika River. One, it originates from the hilly Sudha Mahadev temple in Udhampur. Two, it is also known as the sister of river Ganga. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Recently, the government of India informed that North India's first river regeneration project, Devika, is near completion. The Devika River has its source at the revered Sudha Mahadev Temple in Udhampur district of Jammu and Kashmir. Hence, statement one is correct. Flowing towards the western part of Punjab, which is now in Pakistan, the Devika River eventually joins the Ravi River. Among Hindus, the Devika River holds significant religious importance being regarded as the sister of the Ganga River. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the Indian eagle owl. 1. In this species, the female's size is smaller. 2. For its survival, it relies on forest. 3. It prefers hunting on open scrubland grounds. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option A, only one. Recently, the Indian eagle owl was recently classified as a distinct species differentiating it from the Eurasian eagle owl. The Indian species is impressive in size with the female being slightly larger. Hence, statement one is not correct. It features prominent ear tufts resembling horns on its head that deters predators. Unlike many other bird species, the Indian eagle owl doesn't rely on forest for survival. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. It preys on creatures such as rats, bandicoots, bats and doves, making open scrub land and agricultural areas its preferred hunting grounds. Hence, statement 3 is correct. The owl nests on rocky perches and crags in proximity to its hunting areas rather than depending on forested regions. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, in the context of which of the following Deftia suruhatinensis tres cantos 1, that is TC1, was mentioned in the news recently. mRNA vaccine, a humanoid AI, cause of waterborne disease or inhibition of malaria. The correct answer is option D, inhibition of malaria. Recently, the scientists discovered a natural bacterium Deftia suruhatinensis tres cantos 1 or TC1 which can halt the transmission of malaria from mosquitoes to humans. It is to be remembered that mosquitoes from an ant's defensive colony were unable to sustain P. falciparum infection, a fatal malaria type. TC1 was found to be responsible for this loss of infectivity. Mosquitoes exposed to TC1 or low harmane concentration exhibited a substantial reduction in the plasmodium parasite transmitted through mosquito bites to humans. The bacterium stably inhabited the mosquito gut, leading to P. falciparum inhibition lasting over 16 days, potentially the mosquito's entire lifespan. It is noteworthy that TC1 could replace a mosquito's parasite load by up to 73%. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is recently an autonomous underwater vehicle Nirakshi is developed by Aerospace Engineering India Private Limited in collaboration with which of the following? Praga Marine Private Limited, Reliance Naval and Engineering Limited, Musgaon Dock Shipbuilders Limited or Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited. The correct answer is option D, Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited. 
Recently, the autonomous underwater vehicle named Nirakshi designed to detect mines was launched. The AUV named Nirakshi is a collaboration of Kolkata-based warship maker Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited and MSME entity AEPL. The commercial launch of the AUV is likely to be within six months to a year after completion of user trials by the Indian Navy, Coast Guard and possibly the Army too. This can be used for a variety of functions ranging from mine detection to mine disposal to underwater survey. It is a 2.1 meter long cylindrical unmanned vehicle, about a foot in diameter and weighing around 45 kg. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding the Bhu Vision recently seen in the news. 1. It is an automated soil testing system. 2. It has been solely developed by ICAR IRRR that is Indian Council of Agricultural Research, Indian Institute of Rice Research. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, a revolutionary IoT-based automated soil testing and agronomy advisory platform, Bhu Vision, was officially launched at AICRP, ICAR, IIRR, Hyderabad. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It is also known as Krishi Rasta Soil Testing System. It has been jointly developed by ICAR, IIRR, that is Indian Council of Agricultural Research, Indian Institute of Rice Research and Krishi Tantra. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. This system seamlessly conducts 12 key soil parameter tests in just 30 minutes. It provides quick and accurate results directly to farmers and stakeholders through a soil health card on their mobile devices. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the Bharat Net project. 1. It was approved by the Union Cabinet in 2011. 2. It is managed by a special purpose vehicle consisting of BBNL and BSNL. 3. It is based on 50-50 revenue sharing model with its partners. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option C, all three. Recently, the Union Cabinet has sanctioned 1,39,579 crore rupees for the upcoming phase of Bharat Net to extend 5G network access to remote areas. The project received approval from the Union Cabinet on October 25, 2011. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Its primary goal is to provide equitable broadband connectivity to all telecom service providers, ensuring non-discriminatory access. The Bharat Net project is managed by a special purpose vehicle consisting of Bharat Broadband Network Limited and Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited merger. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The project employs a 50-50 revenue sharing model with its partners. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is recently the term IMS-1 was in the news. It is related to joint army exercise, humanoid robot, malaria vaccine or satellite technology. The correct answer is option D, satellite technology. Recently, ISRO has transferred the IMS-1 satellite bus technology to Bengaluru-based Alpha Design Technologies. This step signifies the initiation of heightened private sector participation in the Indian space industry. The IMS-1 satellite bus was developed by the UR Rao Satellite Center and serves as a platform for small satellites, enabling cost-effective space access. The bus accommodates diverse payloads supporting tasks such as earth imaging, ocean and atmospheric studies, microwave remote sensing and space science missions. The IMS-1 bus weighs around 100 kg and can transport a 30 kg payload equipped with solar arrays generating 330 watts of power. It features four reaction Vs along with a one neutral thruster, ensuring precise pointing accuracy within a threshold of 0.1 degrees. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the privilege motion. 1. It grants specific rights to member of parliament only. 2. It grants right to free expression during debates with the risk of court proceedings. 3. A privileges committee is composed of eight members to overview the privilege motions. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option A, only one. Recently, the chairman of Rajya Sabha referred complaints related to privilege of the house against the two MPs. A privilege motion relates to the concept of parliamentary privilege, granting specific rights to members of parliament for conducting parliamentary business. 
hence statement 1 is correct the privileges include the right to free expression during debates without the risk of court proceedings hence statement 2 is not correct if an mp believes that a privilege has been violated they can raise a motion which if accepted goes to the privileges committee the privileges committee is composed of 10 members nominated by the chairman with a chairman appointed by the rajya sabha chairman hence statement 3 is not correct two conditions must be met to raise a question of privilege the issue should be recent and the matter necessitates the council's intervention therefore option a is the correct answer next question is consider the following countries 1 italy 2 tunisia 3 algeria which of the above given countries comprises the island lampedusa 1 only 2 and 3 only 1 and 3 only or 2 only the correct answer is option a 1 only recently about 30 migrants were missing after two boats sank near the italian island of lampedusa lampedusa island also known as isola di lampedusa in italian and lopa dusa in latin is the largest among the isol pelagi in italy the island group includes linosa and limpion islets it is situated in the mediterranean sea between malta and tunisia it is part of the autonomous region of sicily within italy it is located about 105 miles southwest of licata sicily therefore option a is the correct answer last question is consider the following statements regarding the amrit bharat station scheme one it was launched by the ministry of railways two it aims to provide facilities beyond the minimum essential amenities which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option c both one and two recently the prime minister inaugurated work on rejuvenating 13 railway stations in karnataka through the amrit bharat station scheme a total investment of rupees 25000 crore will transform the 508 stations into world class facilities the scheme was launched by the ministry of railways to modernize railway stations in a continuous manner focusing on long term development hence statement 1 is correct the scheme involves creating master plans for railway stations and implementing these plans in the phases with a vision for enhancing facilities beyond the minimum essential amenities and aiming for the creation of roof plazas and city centers hence statement 2 is correct The ABS scheme will revitalize and transform 1309 railway stations across India. Integration of multimodal connectivity will make the redeveloped railway stations central to socio-economic activities in their regions. Therefore option C is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. Recently seen in the news the Bari China Badam 12 is an improved variety of which of the following? Groundnut, almonds, apricot or hazelnut? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.